Okay, you're tan. So you're about to see an example why we do not use pen for drawing graphs. Okay, so yesterday I had asked you to complete page 61 in your notes and I had asked you to do it a little bit differently than um, it maybe said in the notes. So you had to draw your graph of y equals 3x plus 3 using these x values. So here's my table. Um, whenever x was minus 4, you should have found that y was minus 9. Whenever x was minus 1, you should have found that y was 0. And whenever x was 3, you should have found that y was 12. So you can see here my horrendously messy graph. This is why we use pencil. Okay, so hold on, I'll zoom that out a little bit. Hang on. So there's my three points, my minus four, minus nine, my minus one, zero, and my three, twelve. Okay. Now, um, it, the question that was originally on the page had asked you to also do this. I'm not organized here, let me get another color. Okay, so um, find y when x is minus three. So to do that, we would go to minus three on our graph and then go, sorry, minus three on our x-axis, I should have said, and then go until it hits our graph and then read across. So you should have got for that, that whenever x is minus three, y is minus six, okay? And then the next one was whenever x is 2. So if I go up, go to x is 2 on my x-axis, go up until it hits the graph and then read across, then I got that y was 9. Okay? Now, the next thing we had to do was to calculate the gradient. Now, we know from looking at this that our gradient's going to end up being 3. But um, let's... Let's figure it out anyway. So do you remember the equation for getting the gradient? The gradient equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Well, do you know what? See if I use these points here, let's do that. So this point is two, nine, and I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call that x2, y2, okay. And then this wee point here is minus three, minus six, and I'm gonna call that one x1, y1. So if I fill these values into this equation, so y2 is nine, take away y1 is minus six. So remember nine take away, minus six is gonna be my nine plus six. x2 was two, take away x1, which was minus three. I've run out of room nightmare. So nine take away minus six is the same as nine plus six. So that's gonna be 15 divided by, 2 take away minus 3 is the same as 2 plus 3, so that's 5, so 15 divided by 3 gives us 3. So it did work out to be the same. Sorry, that's a wee bit squashed there. So the gradient there is 3. Now, then I'd asked you to figure out or to read off your graph the y coordinate where the graph crosses the y axis, so many y's there. So that's this point here. So your graph should have crossed the y axis at 3. Now there's so many threes in this equation that um, it's maybe not the best example that we could have done, but it's not a coincidence that this number here is also three. So that's what I want us to, to look at here today. Now, see if you turn back to page 60 for me, please. Do you remember I left this page out yesterday? It's because I wanna talk about it now after you'd had a chance to um, do that little investigation for yourself, okay? Now, all straight line graphs are in this form. I'm going to write it a little bit bigger here because I want to add in extra words around it. So y equals mx plus c. All straight line graphs are in that form. The m and the c will be numbers, right? So if it's like y equals 3x plus 2, y equals x minus 4, y equals minus 17x plus 3, 39 okay they will always give you straight line graphs now do you remember we had discovered that the number in front of the x told us the gradient of the graph well this little number that's by itself tells us what we call the the y-intercept right so the y-intercept 
and that just means the point at which the, the line crosses that y-axis. So it says here in your notes, where did I see that? The y-intercept is the y-coordinate when x is zero. So this graph has not photocopied very well in your notes, but let me actually go over that there. Um, let's see, I think I just about got that, yeah. So with this wee line here, the y-intercept, oh, I've messed up a wee bit, is three. Oh, it's right on there, it's three, okay? So this graph here would be like y equals so many x plus three. If it crossed like down here somewhere, then it would be, say it crossed there, then it would be minus three, okay? So see with all these graphs that we've been looking at so far, they will have been in this form. We just haven't mentioned it yet, right? And we're gonna do a little bit of work with that today. Now, I want us to start off by doing this example on page 60. I'm, I'm nervous because the grid lines haven't photocopied here, okay? So you can see I've put a line through this. We're gonna leave out part C. So part A is finding the gradient of the line this is the bit where we could go wrong. So we need to pick um, two points on the line, remember, and then figure out what the gradient is. So I'm gonna pause you until I find these points that we can use. Okay, I think these are two points on the line. So see the way I went over my line? Um, you go over yours as well. And then to get the gradient, I'm gonna use these two points here. So I'm pretty sure that this point here, which is two, seven is a point on the line and i'm going to use that as my x2 y2 and then i'm going to use this point here because we already have it and um, which is 0 3 and that's x1 y1 so to get the gradient so this is for part a the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so the gradient of my line is seven take away y1 which is three over x2 which is 2 take away x1 which is 0. So 7 take away 3 is 4, 2 take away 0 is 2, so 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. So the gradient of my line is 2. I want to write that up here. So automatically I know that this wee number in my equation is going to be 2. B, write down the value of y where the line crosses the y-axis. Well that was that 3. Okay. We are, I'm gonna leave out C, that's not my focus for today. Find the equation of the line. So, oh, we know that our, because it's a straight line, it's gonna be in this form. It's gonna be y equals mx plus c. But we know, we now know the value of m and we know the value of c. So the value of m is the value of the gradient, which is two, x, and then c is the y-intercept. So that's that three value. Okay, so let me just do that. M is from the gradient. And, oops, C is where it crosses the y-axis. And that will always be the case. And remember, the x and the y are just the coordinates. Because remember, right back at the start of this, we talked about how the equation of the line was just like the little rule that linked every single point on that line. Whatever the x coordinate is for this one, if we multiply by two and then add on three, we'll get the y coordinate. Now, let's look at a few more of these. So turn over to page 62. This is gonna be your work for the rest of the day. You've got four questions, okay? First of all, it's just like that last example we just did there, find the gradient of the line. Now, because these photocopies are horrendous, I'm gonna pick out points on the line for you to use for that. Give me a wee second to do that. Then write down the value of y where the line crosses the y-axis. So that's just the same as that last example. Again, I'm gonna ignore this point here. Oh, I've got too much stuff, hold on. So I don't want you bothering doing that. So we can ignore part C. Find the equation of the line. So that's gonna be y equals mx plus c. You just replace the m with whatever value you got for the gradient and replace the c which with whatever value you got here for where the, the line crosses the y-axis. Now, let me see. We can leave out e as well because of the way I've taught you to do this, right? So we can leave out e. So it's only parts a, b and d that we have to do here. 
Now let's get our points that we can use. So in question one, two, four is a point. I'd like you to use that one. And let's go with, is that minus two, zero? Yeah, let's use that one, minus two, zero. Okay. Two, we can go with, Mm, let's see, we could use that one, is that minus 6, minus 3, and then we could go, yeah, 3, 6 there. Okay, so you're filling these in so that you can use these values for your x1, y1 and your x2, y2 for your graph. 3, let's go for zero, three, and uh, I think that's minus two, minus one, okay? And then here, let's go for, let's use three, zero, and hmm, hold on. Um, I don't really like this and I've done it twice, but let's go with that one, which is zero, three. Okay, so find the gradient and use these points that I've written on. I really should have drawn all the graphs on. Hold on. Actually, those other three you can see enough, but that one there I just drew on. So find the gradient using these two points. Write down the value of y where the line crosses the y-axis and then find the equation of the line. That's always going to be in the form y equals mx plus c. m is the value of the gradient and c is the value of y where it crosses the y-axis. Now, you're not gonna have room to do this on this page, so answer this in your class workbook for me, please. Okay? Right, that is me until tomorrow. Bye.